What's up guys? MMO Bud here. How are you all doing today? I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for joining me once again. I know I haven't posted a video in a few days, maybe three or four days, and it's a good reason for that guys. As you know in my last video I told you guys Hurricane Irma was actually coming and in its path is actually a city where I live. So it ended up hitting the city where I live as a tropical storm, if not a category one, but the damage was severe. Many trees were knocked over. I'll put a, a picture up on the screen of a tree that fell in my front yard. And this isn't the only tree that fell in my yard. Many trees fell. Luckily, none of them hurt me or anyone that I know uh, there were trees that fell all over the neighborhood actually even a couple of trees that fell on power lines and so you could imagine uh, after the storm or during the storm all the power went out and I've pretty much been without power for 90 hours and about a day ago the power was finally turned on after a few days but those were an excruciating few days, guys. Didn't have any electricity whatsoever. So uh, logging into the game was non-existent for me. It wasn't a possibility. I couldn't get in contact with any of you guys or post any videos or uh, check my Facebook. But uh, the power is back on. Thank goodness. I'm very happy about that. Now I can start playing Bit Heroes again and start uploading YouTube videos again. Like I said, I've only been gone for about four days, and that's how long it took them. We we're pretty much the last people to get our power turned back on. I don't know, there may be a few hundred more in different areas without power, but within a week, all the power should be restored. Uh, thanks to Georgia Power for uh, my area. But, um... Also, in the area I live in, it's sort of in the country, so we use water wells for each house, and it requires electricity for the water pump to pump the water from the well to the sink and the toilets and everything. So we were also without running water for those three to four days. I did have a water tank, which I would uh, refill occasionally and uh, pour buckets of water into commodes or whatever we needed it for and also pretty much I grilled every day of the three to four days just grilling 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 had to get coolers filled with ice to stop the food from spoiling and pretty much bought a bag of charcoal and grilled every day chicken fish uh, tortillas Many corn on the cob, many things just had to grill. So it was quite an experience, guys. I actually made a song during this experience. My girlfriend would tell you she doesn't like this song, but I made a song called It's No Fun Without Electrons. And that's how I truly feel, guys. It isn't any fun without electrons. And if you go four days without power, you'd understand what I mean, you know. There's really no way to charge your phone during that time. And uh, no way to do a lot of things. But yeah, that's what I've been going through for the past few days. I'm completely okay. No damage was done. You know, uh, except for the damage that has already been fixed. So let's talk about something Bit Heroes related. Uh, the guild that I'm currently in, I did tell them right before Hurricane Irma hit that I may lose power. And what do you know, I did. So thank you to them for not kicking me out. But I think a guild versus guild was active while I uh, was without power. But I had started it. But um, yeah, for my guild, it looks like the last officer just left. Zevium. Yeah, so now we're at 16 members, but that's okay. We're level 101. I want to get back started 
on my honor points. I need about 250,000 honor points. I have 195, so I need about 55k more honor points. And then I'll be able to buy Love Boy. I'm still working on that. I'm going to get right started back on that. Uh, the reason for a lot of people leaving this guild, it all started when the first leader decided he was going to quit. And he made someone else a leader. And that person quit very soon after. So it's uh, pretty much no one in charge of this guild at the moment. There's just nothing but recruits and members in this guild. No officers, and we just have one inactive leader. So I hear that it takes about two weeks to um, remove that leader or whatever after he's been inactive for two weeks, at least for an officer, but we don't have any officers. So for members, I think it's going to take three weeks, and for recruits, it'll take four weeks. So yeah, um, I'm still thankful for being in the guild. I really do want my love boy. And yeah, it's just going to be a slow grind until we get it there. So also guys, uh, if you guys ever want to contact me or ask me any questions, be sure to add me on Facebook. My Facebook, I'll leave the link down below. And uh, yeah, thank you for all the support, guys. I really appreciate all the support and the comments that you leave. Uh, it makes me really, really happy making these videos and posting the videos and playing the games, knowing that somebody is watching them. So I do appreciate all of you guys watching these videos and taking the time out of your day to check my channel or to check my video. But yeah, so Hurricane Irma, it is over. It, uh, it was actually over days and days ago. I just couldn't uh, breathe that sigh of relief on social media. Had uh, no power. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm totally okay. Everybody that I know, you know, they're okay. Uh, everyone survived. There wasn't any injuries or anything like that that I know of in this town. Just a lot of broken trees, and I'm and I mean like down the street from where I live, there's like a sacoma looking tree that even the roots came out of the ground, and it just you know by coincidence landed on a pickup truck in someone's yard, and they just happen to have the I mean it's a huge yard, it's very huge, and I guess they had their pickup truck somewhere near the tree, but. This huge tree, you know, it didn't even snap and break. It broke up from the roots. And that huge tree fell on that pickup truck. Well, uh, I like to take this time to give a shout out to everybody in my raid team. And a shout out to, um, I don't know how you pronounce his guild name, Harpezo. Or I'm just going to say the abbreviations which is 777 uh, I have a lot of a lot of help from that guild a lot of people are helping me out from that guild uh, with the 777 the first friend I got from that guild was a friend called snitch you he added me he's been helping me from for a very long time the second friend I got from that guild was McProstiff or McProstiff so yeah shout out to every Everybody on my raid team and my friends list. You guys really help carry me and uh, take me far away. And uh, thank you to all the comments in my previous video telling me not to spend my gems, you know, on the small boxes. That I should have spent my gems on the bigger boxes since I could have afforded it anyway. Apparently there was a better chance if I would have opened the bigger boxes. So yeah, I'll definitely take heed to that and I'll make sure to open the bigger box next time. And some of you guys told me to open the mega box and wait for that. And I think that sounds like a pretty good idea. If I ever save enough gems to open that, I definitely will open that mega box. So yeah guys, I just wanted to update you guys on what's been going on with me. And uh, 
yeah, that's pretty much it. Survived the hurricane. Haven't really been able to play or post, but now I'm right back 100%. Thank you guys for tuning back in. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.